Congratulations on the movie. Thank, thank you very much. So, uh, talk a bit about uh, the heartfelt drama. Why did you take this on as a director? Boy, I loved having the uh, I loved having the story of three generations: a grandmother, her daughter, and her granddaughter, and um, just the notion of secrets and sort of the different experience of women today and women 50 years ago and how things have changed for the better. Oh, so it's part period piece, right? Because it goes flashback. So it comes yeah, with that's right. It's about 55% heat present and about 45% the past. That sounds fun, costume-wise. Oh my God, the costumes were amazing. My friend Eileen Meltzer did the costumes and the period stuff, the early 60s. She just knocked it out of the park. Uh, talk a bit about working with the Oscar nominee, the legendary Piper Laurie. Piper was amazing. She was, she so embodied the role and uh, just... You know, it's like a consummate professional. You'd see her on set and she'd be doing things and then you'd watch the footage later and you'd go, oh my God, I didn't even see that. It's incredible. Uh, last question before you enjoy the evening. Um, your years as an actress, you know, in 30-something, did, did that shape you as a filmmaker, as a director? I think, I think that when I've worked with actors that have become directors, it's always interesting because there's another sort of, understanding when you've been in front of the camera as many years as I have or other people that have you you have you have a different approach when you're directing because you know what it's like and you know what it takes so there's a different kind of respect congratulations on the film thank you so much <laughs> so, uh, for my fans what is your role what is your character here um, I play the young Rose in the movie and um, I basically am in all the 60s flashback sequences so you get to see me fall in love how fun was the 60s costumes that you have to wear? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun playing up, dress up, and, you know, uh, it's uh, directed and produced by all women, um, and then we had a couple of guys in there, so we had some style from them a little bit too, but uh, having everybody's input, and everyone worked really hard, and we were shooting in really, really hot temperatures, and uh, we, we just had a really great time, and I was like actually fell in love with each other and we're just still all friends and hang out and talk and it's great. You mentioned love, so what's unique about this love story? Um, well, it's in the 1960s and both um, my character and Emily Goss's character are married to men and they happen to fall in love with one another and explore that. Um, but there's a lot of social constraints about you know what was allowed in the 1960s and you explore that a lot. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the theme also? That's, that's liberating? Yeah, it's a, it's a liberating theme. It's not really seen or talked about. Um, and and you know, I, I got a lot of education on what was talked about in that day and time because I wasn't around then. <laughs> well, last question before you enjoy the evening. What's the significance of, you said it's directed and produced by women, a lot of women in the cast, um, in the Me Too era that's what we're in right now? Great. Um, just the fact that we, you know, we're all look, working together and supporting one another, especially in the climate and what's going on right now. Um, so it's topical, but it's also very humanizing. So, yeah. And uh, so what did you learn from playing the 60s? Like, um, you dress up and the hairstyle must have been fun. Our crew was amazing. It was very fun. But I think the most important thing to take into account when you're playing a woman from the 1960s is the events of the 1940s and 50s. Um, because that's actually what shaped you into the person you are. So uh, talk about the theme. What do you hope the audiences will take away from this story? I hope people take away the fact that you can share your truth with your family and they will love you anyway. They will always love you. You can bridge differences as long as you're honest with your family. So for my fans at home, what's your role in this film? Uh, I play Joe Muller, uh, who is the husband of this young lady, Shannon Collis. Uh, and basically, I'm an, I'm an ad executive um, in like the 60s, 70s. And um, I'm not... Uh, I'm, something's happening behind my back uh, with my wife, and uh, it's whether I choose to acknowledge it or not, and uh, the times are different, and so, you know, men had to be different and carry themselves a little differently and, uh, and deny some things, and um, that's kind of what it's about. But really, at, at the center of it, it's a, it's a love story, and it's about loving your person regardless of, of gender.
So did you uh, watch a lot of Mad Men episodes? Super for yourself? <laughs> uh, I watched all of Mad Men anyway. But yes, that certainly, certainly helped this. Yeah, that definitely influenced it. Yeah, yeah. Talk a bit about uh, working with us. There's a lot of women in this cast. Well, women director, female producers, female writers. How, how is that for you as a man in this company? Incredible, actually. I, I knew right away at the table read that there was like this this amazing, like magical vibe. Everyone was, was respectful. They were listening to each other and they were like, like I, I hear what you're saying. I take that in. This is why that won't work. Um, but there, there was no ego involved. There was this very collaborative, cooperative, like a beautiful environment. And Melanie Mayron, who directed it beautifully, directed me and switched at birth. So she offered this to me. Uh, Jan Miller Coran, who wrote it and produced it, could not have been sweeter and more hardworking. And like, like you said, like a one man band. It was like all of us were just doing everything, but it was this team effort. And it's just a beautiful result. I'm really proud to be a part of it. Emily, congratulations on Snapshot. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be a part of this movie for sure. So, uh, for my fans, what's your role or character in this film? My role is Allison. I play the daughter uh, and the granddaughter of Piper Laurie's character. Um, yeah. How's, how's it working with the Oscar nominee legendary Piper Laurie? Piper Laurie is just phenomenal. She's amazing. She has a heart of gold and an amazing work ethic and she just really she's such an artist she really um really cares about like what she puts into her role and her character and her work and it was a such an honor to work with her i mean it's piper lori yeah yeah it's not bad did you ask her if, you know like did she give you input or advice on acting at all <laughs> um not much. We mostly talked about family and like regular life stuff because I think we bonded on being mothers and having family and uh, that's more of the kind of stuff that we talked about actually. <laughs> yeah. Last question. Now that you have worked with the great Piper Laurie, do you have a wish list of uh, who's the next Oscar nominee or legendary actors that you would love to work with? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, I would love to work with Meryl Streep, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, I hope to God it happens someday. Or even just like, you know, have a lunch with her and just pick her brain about everything. Yeah. I hope that happens for you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on Snapshot. Thank you very much. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is based on? It is. It's based actually on a true story about my mother uh, when she was 94 who told me, a little secret from her life. So, uh, how close to accurate? I'm like, did the movie cre take creative license, creative freedom, or is it faithful to? It did. It was. It was an about an affair that happened long before I was born. So, um, you know how it is. You embellish a bit, and it's so stunning and lush and happy. I hope it was that good for her. You know. Now, uh, this is a fantastic cast of uh, majority female. There's female director, female uh, writer, female producer. What's, it, what's that like in this uh, Me Too era? You know, it's funny. When we started out with the film, I didn't even think male, female, anything. Um, but it seemed like the people who really were coming to the, you know, to the fore and, and crew, things like that, were females. Uh, we did have a, a male uh, cinematographer, and um, but it is a story about women, but it's also a story about women's interaction with the men in their lives. So, you know, we talk about the boys, too. Talk about working with my one of my favorite actresses, the legendary Pepper Laurie. Oh, uh, yeah, joy, 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 joy. Um, she walked into the room, and it was just, you know, I was starstruck. Uh, but the, one of the nicest and obviously most professional people I think I worked with over the years. And she, she's just lovely. Um, and she's portraying who my mother was. And boy, she got it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm with the legendary Piper Laurie, the hustler, uh, Carrie's, uh, children of the lesser god. Oh, what an amazing career you have. Thank you, thank you. What was it like working on this project for you? Oh, I, I loved it. It, it went so fast. Mm. Uh, too fast. I mean, we shot it in 15 days. Wow. And it's amazing. Got anything out of it. But I guess we got something. Nice. Now, the producer, writer, John Miller, told me that it's based, uh, your character is based on her mom. So yes. you got it down pat? You got the uh, the character down pat? Yes, it was interesting. And my name is Rose as well, yeah. my real name. That's right. Yes, wow. yes. So um, talk about the, th the theme of this movie. What do you hope the audiences will take away from this story? I guess, uh, 
I'm very, very bad at, at summing things up because I, I think it has something to do with humanity and Hello. being and love and being kind to one another and understanding each other. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Barbara Laurie. I'm a big fan.